So now that our back end is all situated, let's let's pay some attention to the front end. So we create this folder called GraphQL, uh, and we'll be making three folders called Fragments, Queries, and Mutations. And we're going to make all of the different queries and mutations here. So the first fragment that I'm going to be creating is called post.gql. And so this will be a fragment called post fragment on the model post. So we want to have ID, published, title, and content. I guess I've published here twice. It, it's, it's not needed, but it, it doesn't hurt anything. So then we can go to user.gql. So we can have ID, name, email, uh, and that's it. So now that we've made these two different fragments, let's start actually using them. And so the first query that we're going to make is called feed.gql. So we have to import the fragment. Uh, and then we can create the query. So it's going to be called feed query. It's going to have this parameter coming in called published. And it's going to be a Boolean. And it has the exclamation because it's required. So then we're going to take that variable and we're going to pass it into the, the feed query. And then we're going to return the post fragment as all the different fields. So next we're going to create post.gql. And so this query we won't be using for our front end. So I guess it's not strictly needed, but it will just return a single post. So it's called post query. It takes it in an ID. And we'll uh, return the post fragment just like before. So then we're going to create a users.gql query. We're going to use the, the user fragment. And the query is called users. And so we're just going to use the user fragment as the return fields that we want. So now we've done all of the queries, we can move on to the mutations. The first one is called create draft. So this will be creating the post initially. We're going to need to import the, the post fragment here. So our mutation is going to be called create draft mutation. It's going to take a title, which is a string, the content, which is a string, and also author email, which is a string. And so obviously you wouldn't want to trust someone in real life to provide their author email but since this is just for demonstration purposes, uh, this is how we're going to do it today. In reality, you'd want to be able to use a, a JSON web token or some more secure way to be able to, 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 to put that email in there. So now we're going to create a delete one post mutation. We're going to import the post fragment just like we did before. Our mutation is going to be called delete one post, and it's going to take in an ID, which is of type ID. And we're going to take that parameter there, and we're, we're going to feed it into our mutation 
like that. And so the return is going to be a, a post fragment again. So here I'm just copying the delete one post and switching it all to over to publish. And you'll see later that there's actually a mistake here. I shouldn't be having the where there and I'm gonna be removing it later, uh, but this is gonna definitely cause an error. So now I have to make the sign up user. You can see I make an error here. It needs to start with the pound. So this mutation is going to be called signup user mutation. And it's going to take an, a name and an email. So great, we've done all of the, the queries, mutations, and fragments now.